All right, here's another example of the tornado simulator that I'm working on. And still using, you know, my basic tornadoes for the moment, just to kind of get things in order. A lot of it comes down to uh, designing the models right, so you keep your performance up here. So that's why I have my performance specs sitting up here running. And there was there been a few challenges along the way to see if I could get things to do what I wanted to do. And it looks like I've resolved just about everything that I need to do. And so now I'll really start implementing it in detail. You know, one of these like that little kind of green plant right there in the middle of the almost the road right there. Well, of course, that'll be better than that. But it it's proved a concept for me for some of the things that I need to be able to do within the engine because I need to have wind effects as well. So I'll be able to do that and keep my frame rates up pretty high. And I'm running on a GTX 470 card. And then, uh, so a lot of other things. But one thing I wanted to point out, since this is part of a simulator and part game, the simulation portion is designed to help get people educated about storms. And one of the best things you can do, if you live in the Midwest of the United States or anywhere that where you get big tornadoes, and if you're not familiar with it, uh, the website for the Storm Prediction Center is www.spc.noaa.gov so spc.noaa.gov and if you go there there's a link on the left hand side for convective outlooks and the convect you want the day one convective outlook and what that does those guys provide you the details of where they expect severe weather to be on a daily basis and it's a super powerful site it's it's virtually the first thing i do during storm season is to check that link out to see what's happening in there and not only that but they they give you the probability where there's going to be a slight risk or a moderate risk or even a high risk and a high risk is kind of like um you know going swimming in a lake where you know there's an alligator right uh-huh or climbing up a rock wall where you know there's rattlesnakes. I mean, you wouldn't do things like that, but when they put out a high risk, they're essentially saying there's going to be big, bad tornadoes in this area, and you want to avoid it. So if you happen to be traveling across the United States, and you can go to the website, and you can actually see their risk areas. If you ever see a high risk area, simply just don't go. Just don't even go. Just wait it out, and because it's it's a danger zone it's absolutely a danger zone and not only that they even break it down into probabilities where they'll show you the probability of hail and tornadoes and things like that because on the plains in the springtime and the summer or the fall it can be bad news if you're and a lot of it's just being aware so i would just absolutely recommend that site www.spc.noaa.gov all right and there's going to be a lot more here in this simulator as I get it going and it's going to evolve quite rapidly now since I've solved virtually all the technical details that I had at hand and I'll I'll keep you posted as I keep going on all right well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video